Welcome back, everybody. Coming off of the weekend where my buddy Brian Scaife from Angling Anarchy posted a video all about dangle style blades. And I actually, this is a barn burner from Musky Attics. I picked it up at the Minnesota show, kind of a unique take on a bucktail. But I actually added a dangle on here, exactly how Brian talks about doing it in his video, which is really similar to how we did it. I messaged Brian and I, I kind of thanked him for doing that video. I think it's really important. It shows people how to modify it. And I said to Brian, I'm like, I'm kind of surprised that we didn't touch that subject because we talk so much about dangle blades on our dad's end. We started just throwing blades. Dave's got a spinner bait. I got a Dadson with a dangle blade. I just kept saying it's a Dadson with a dangle and that name kind of stuck. I don't take any credit for it, but people kept asking me, what is that little blade at the back? And I know leaders and lures, Dave had an early bucktail from them that had the little dangles. I think the inhalers had the little dangles at the back. So these are not new. It's just something that guys are experimenting more, you know, now that, We've kind of hit the plateau, you would think, on bucktails, but somebody always seems to come up with something, so we're always trying to modify them. But let's have a quick look at how, you know, what Brian does there. And I did ask Brian for his permission to use a couple little clips out of his video, and I'm going to link that video here because I think it's a very important video for you guys that want to mod some of your own baits, and it doesn't have to just necessarily be bucktails. You'll see Brian mod some of his swim baits and stuff like that, you know, so have a quick look at that. Today, we're going to talk about adding a little dangly blade to your bucktail, or favorite lure for that matter, uh, but please, let's be mature about this. He said dangle. I shared Brian's video to my socials yesterday and it kind of fired up the community a little bit, which is what we like to see. We like to get opinions from everybody. And Rick Alber said that he likes it on a clevis, like a blade with no name, like Brian does it. That's how I like it. I've talked on multiple podcasts about the blade with no name specifically. And guys, and a lot of builders ask me, what's the difference between it being on a clevis and it being on a swivel? This is a Mad Chase lure, and that's just on a swivel that is shrink-wrapped into that back hook. That certainly works, but they do different things in the water. So coming off the back of Brian's video, I went looking through our archives, and I found footage of almost every style of blade and or grub that you could put at the back. And I want to kind of compare them. Real quick before we get into this, you may ask yourself, do the blades make a difference? I don't know. I haven't asked one of the muskies yet. <laughs> but I do know that they look cool in the water. It adds a little bit of something to the bait that makes it different than what most other people are throwing. And I think they're cool. And if you have confidence in what you're throwing, you're going to fish it a lot better. So even if the fish doesn't give a hoot about that blade on the bait, if you do, and you think it's going to get them to hit, that should give you the confidence to fish it better. Before we get right into these examples here of the different style of blades that you can do, I'm going to show a quick clip of just a conventional double 10 musky mayhem cowgirl. And that's kind of your benchmark bucktail that, you know, all bucktails were based off of. So let's have a look at that before we go into any of these examples a little bit more just so it gives us a baseline of you know how they look underwater and what each style is doing a little bit different Good. 
So through those few examples, you can see that the swivel shrink wrapped in there certainly gives it the most kind of spinning you know, action similar to a clevis. And one thing I will back up on when we did the musky munchies, when I have it had it on a swivel, we had it on a small snap there. And that was one of the things that the community said on socials that having a snap allows you to change out the blades at the back. And that's certainly true. But I think in our opinion, when I see that blade swirling, spinning, stalling out, that's a cool feature, and maybe that's something that would trigger a fish, a fish, but in my experience, that typically doesn't work. So that's why we tend to go to the clevis style. And again, not going to go over it really close because Brian talks about it in his video, but I just feel that the clevis style, it makes it spin the most and it gives it the most disturbance in the water. And for us... The success we've had on a blade with no name with that dangle blade kind of speaks for itself. But I do want to mention one other style that Johnny does over at Dadson. And this is a blade attached straight to the shaft. So it, it kind of acts like it's on a clevis, but it's not on a clevis. And it, it has to spin outwards. So it does move more water than just on a swivel. But I will say that that's not our favorite style. I do like it on a clevis the best. And let me know in the comments down below what style you guys use or what style you think looks the most effective. When I got one of the very first prototypes of a blade with no name, I really didn't realize it was going to transform a lot of our fishing and it was going to become this infamous lure in musky fishing. I get asked about it weekly three or four times. Johnny gets asked every week about it and it's not anything super special. It's just it's a cool, well-designed bucktail, and the dangle blade was a big part of it. Check out the playlist right here where it's all about a lot of our success on a blade with no name, and that kind of wraps up this little subject. I want to thank Brian Scaife for coming up with that cool video on a adding a dangle blade to any hook. And for now, 54 Bust is out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later.